Hey coach, well, I'm so happy you found us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell up above. We put out content just about every day. Also, go down below and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking to become a better basketball coach, you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for resources, teachhoops.com is the answer for you. Go over and check it out and have a great day. Big man, can you come out for a second? One of you guys, doesn't matter. Great, thank you, sir. All right. Set up that 1-4 high again. Just set up a 1-4 high. Great. Come on on the wing, right there on the elbow. Perfect. All right? You can run either side when you're running that high screen. If a team is going to come out and go box in one, triangle in two, a couple of things that we do. If it's triangle in two, I'll put the two on the inside. I'll invert it and put them on the inside. The job of the guard is then to bring the ball to his side, okay? You're going to bring it, let's say, to this side. If it's a triangle, there's one guy playing right here on the block, right? I've got a man playing on him. You're being guarded man to man, so you've got somebody on you. We'll invert the triangle. I'll put the two being guarded up here, and we'll invert it and have these guys. Coach is going to flash from the weak side into the back of the zone, all right, or to the baseline. And we're going to look to attack the back of the zone if we can. You can run any number of things with it. I run that little flex cut, or we run that little downside, weak side block screen. So I'm going to make that team match up. Whatever it is you're going to do against that triangle or that box, it's something you want to have rehearsed and gone over. You don't want to wait until late February in a tight game, and you come out of halftime, and all of a sudden, oh my god, they're going box and one. Now we got to figure out what we're going to run. Then in that situation, it's not fun. Did that the first couple of years and don't want to make that mistake again. So you want to have something in that you can run with it. The 1 4 high gives you a couple of nice looks. We can run it either side. We can run the pick and roll. We can run a little backside screen off it. Anything you can run that's going to get your guards open and get your forwards a nice look is what you're looking to do. Whether it's a zone or it's a man, all right, we're looking to get that as best we can. Now, both of you step up here for a second. Come up. The one thing that we've, I've not run the last couple of years, start up here. We run that double horn up top. We bring both men up above the three-point line. And I drop the guards. I drop the wings down a little bit. Your option here is you can go off either one of these two screens. I bring both fours up. We run it out of a one-four set. And I flash the, wing, the guards down. Your job here is you can come off either one of these post players and turn the corner and look at the lane. Usually we run the guard, the forward's going to come over and set a little back screen here. Come on over, set that. And you're going to roll to the basket and now you're going to step right in. We can get a little pick and roll right there. We can get a back screen for you to go now the oop. You can get a couple of different looks there. All right, but all off that double high. You're going to turn the corner. You've got a guard or you've got the lane. If you can draw the defense and this opens up, ideal for your guard to penetrate. All right? If the weak side comes in and helps, you've got to get in, you've got to be able to dish that out there. The only weak side help you're going to get is from his man. So you've got to read that. But that double horn seems to be real popular All right, with a lot of coaches now running that high screen. I like to drop the guards down, I like to take a look at it, and then see which way the guard wants to go. You've got to react to it. If you're going to double team the ball, great. If you're going to switch, that's fine too. But make sure that you know what you're going to do off it. All right? Okay, fellas. So Thanks for watching, Coach. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on. But you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com. 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.